Pro bono legal services play a critical role in ensuring access to justice. Law students can make a huge impact on the lives of clients in need by volunteering on behalf of those who cannot afford a lawyer. In one community, law students played a role in righting the wrong done to thousands of victims of a Kentucky lawyer whose actions left individuals with disabilities facing the real possibility of losing their income. Now, we have a lot of heavy labor work down here. It's usually the only way you can make a living. And once your body or your mind can't do that anymore, the only option you have for a living is to draw some form of disability benefit. So they called Eric Kahn. Kahn's a disability attorney who advertises he's a man of the people. But there was shock when thousands of his clients became victims of the largest social security fraud in American history. And it's caused a true humanitarian crisis uh, here in Appalachia. What he did was he bribed a bunch of doctors and he bribed an administrative law judge and got them to basically sign off and give people benefits. And we know that none of the clients were involved in the fraud. We're dealing with innocent people trying to get by on $800 a month. For many of these people, this is their only source of income. Imagine you've been living off of these benefits for several years, and then out of the blue, you hear your benefits are terminated. I mean, how do you pay rent? How do you insure your car? How do you eat? This sum of money is oftentimes a meaningful difference between life and death. The threat of losing that money had actually pushed people to suicide. People are traumatized, they talk suicide, and they desperately need help. They certainly uh, can't hire lawyers. So he marshaled a massive pro bono effort and enlisted the help of Apple Red Legal Aid and its founder, John Rosenberg. What I needed to do was try to, to really to recruit lawyers because we weren't going to find enough lawyers locally. There were all kinds of people who came from all over the place whose hearts are gigantic who just wanted to do the right thing and help these clients out. We found lawyers for more than a thousand people, lawyers, by the way, who knew they could not be paid. But as the endless number of victims piled up, more volunteers were needed. So the focus shifted to law students, eager to take their knowledge from the classroom to the courtroom. What we realized is you don't have to be an attorney to do a social security hearing. Some would say, well, Ned, you're, you're sending law students in to do a complicated hearing where there's a lot at stake. And I said, that's true, but if we didn't have the law students, these people go in and represent themselves. And that is a recipe for disaster and catastrophe. And so I did a few hearings and I won a couple of them. And then I just started taking them on more and more. The law students were an invaluable resource. And I've said this publicly, they did a better job than the lawyers. Law students should get involved in pro bono to understand what they can actually do and what they can actually accomplish in the world. You can't be afraid to do it. I mean, you have to be willing to take on a challenge if you're going to be an attorney. And why not take on somebody who has no other advocate? You have a real chance to uh, make an impact. You need to understand that pro bono is about doing law at its best and about doing law that interests you. And that is a significant thing. It's, it's helping people and it's doing the, the right thing, but it's doing it in a way that only you as a lawyer can do and that matters.